Could the energy transition help fuel a commodity supercycle? The last commodity supercycle was fueled by rapid industrialization, which required an unprecedented amount of raw materials, food, and energy commodities. As countries spend record amounts helping to rebuild their economies from the pandemic, they are also ramping up their strategies to reach net zero emissions. Many analysts are wondering whether a larger structural shift could be at play and whether it could help fuel a new commodity supercycle. In the European Union, the fiscal stimulus package of 1.8 trillion euros comes with a shade of green, with 30% dedicated to fighting climate change. In the US, the Biden administration is working on an infrastructure deal of 1.2 trillion over eight years, with $15 billion towards the electrification of transportation. The private sector is following suit, with car manufacturers in America and Europe promising to stop building vehicles with internal combustion engines by 2030 or 2035. A whole new market for metals such as cobalt, lithium, or nickel sulfate used in high-performance batteries is emerging to support the transition to electric vehicles. The EV revolution applies to battery-focused materials, but also to traditional metal products. Aluminum is favored to build lower weight vehicles, and silver is widely used in photovoltaic installations. And of course, the move to electrification could provide higher demand for copper in the years to come. Whether or not we are witnessing a true supercycle, the EV revolution already seems to be bringing new dynamics to the commodity markets.